The energy system that we have now was built for a very different world and it was a world where we had gas fire power stations and coal fire power stations. As we move to net zero to tackle climate change, we need to have a system that's built for wind farms and solar power. And to do that, we need to be able to integrate those into the power system. As different to coal and gas, which can be turned on and off at will. Solar and wind um, are intermittent, so it's harder to control them. So fundamentally, we need other forms of flexibility so that we can balance the system. To do that, one of the things that we've been looking at is how to make the price signals more reflective of the location and the time that the, the power is being generated. So that might mean that the cost of electricity changes according to where you are in the country. It might be cheaper to make it in some places and more expensive in others. But the benefits of locational pricing are that you can reduce the cost of the system overall because you don't need to build so much of the assets such as the, uh, the generation assets or the distribution and transmission assets to be able to meet the, the demand and to match that with the supply. Fundamentally, the purpose of doing all of this is to make a more efficient system that will benefit consumers. By avoiding the need to build so much uh, grid, by, by avoiding the need to build unneeded generation, um, you're saving the cost of the system and that's going to be good for consumers overall. The energy system is, is complicated. There's a fundamentally important role that the energy retailer can play in simplifying all of that and creating really compelling propositions uh, for their customers. Of course, consumers won't really want to do very much and the trick will be about how to make it really easy for consumers, um, perhaps without even having to think about it through the use of electricity storage or automation so we can get the benefits without it having any impact on consumers.